What's up, my beautiful birds? Beer Maniac here with another World Series rebuild, and today we're actually doing one of the playoff contenders in the Houston Astros. I don't believe I've done them before. I checked the play loose, and there's so far 20 teams, and I believe it's like an 11 9 split between American League and National League right now, so we've got to do an American League team this week. As you can see, we're using their current rotation over their um, start of the year rotation just because. I believe this team would be much funner to work with. If we look at what our starting roster currently is, we got Justin Verlander, Dallas Keiko, Lance McCullers, Colin McHugh, and Charlie Morton. Starting pitching, really good. Might dump Morton though, just to add a little bit of salary. Don't need much improvement overall in this roster. Maybe a little bit of bullpen help too. We got Chris Davinsky, Will Harris, Luke Gregerson, Michael Feliz, Brad Peacock, Tony Sipp. In the pen, we have Ken Giles at closer, really cheap option, really good pitcher. We have Evan Gaddis and Brian McCann as our starting catchers, both really good. McCann, a little expensive, might trade them away. We have Marwin Gonzalez in Ulieski Guriel. By the way, congratulations, Marwin Gonzalez, on the baby that he had to leave game one for. After the game, obviously. We have Jose Altuve, starting second baseman. Alex Bregman, starting third baseman, cheap, young, good player. Carlos Correa, shortstop, cheap, young, good player. Well, cheap for now. Preston Tucker, that's one position we are going to desperately need to improve. Cameron Mabrin, starting short or center fielder, and George Springer, starting right fielder. I look at this roster, and I see I'm, I'm happy with our starting right field. We could improve our center field a little bit and get a couple of good left fielders. And um, maybe a more not solid rotation. Our rotation is really good, but just maybe some cheaper replacements depending on our salary situation. Anyway, guys, if you're not familiar with this, what we do is we speed up through the trades. We stop at the regular season. We... um. I'll show you what the current roster looks like. We'll go forward from there. If we need to make more trades, we will. And we basically just see if we can win the World Series. Goal is the World Series, but depending on how our individual acquisitions how our individual acquisitions perform, I'll be happy with that. And it will be a win-win. Because when you get into the postseason, especially if you're like a wildcard team, it's almost like a 50-50 coin flip no matter how good your team is and if you'll win or not. Anyway guys, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you in the video. Okay guys, if you look at the league rankings, we are first overall. Then again, we were already around first overall. Anyway, we are 7th in defense, 3rd in speed, 1st in contact, 1st in power, 2nd in pitching. I believe I improved in the areas where we were weak, but I do not know. Let's check out the roster. We have Justin Verlander. Chris Archer is our new 2nd pitcher. I think a slight improvement over who was at the pitching level, but, you know, still... Good options. Dallas Keiko, Lance McCullers, Colin McHugh kept them all. Really solid pitchers with, I think, pretty good stats. 
Comma Q's velocity does concern me because there are some batters out there who will hit a slow ball just as hard as anybody else. We have Will Harris, Chris Davinsky, Luke Gregerson, Hector Rendon, Sung Hwan Ho, and Glenn Perkins in their bullpen with Francisco Liriano going on waivers. We have Ken Giles as our closer. Evan Gaddis and Wellington Castillo backing him up over the guy he replaced because he costs about five million less, so it did create some room for some more moves. We have Marwin Gonzalez as our starting first baseman and Guriel got moved down to triple A. Insane. We have Jose Altuve and we got a capable backup in D Gordon for that speed and pinch pinch running if he has to. Granted, if Jose Altuve goes out, we're going to miss that power comparison. We have Alex Bregman and Travis Shaw backing him up at third base. I got Shaw. I liked his power. I believe he's suitable to pinch hitting. So hopefully our manager does that pretty well. We have Didi <coughs> Pardon me. We have Didi Gregorius backing up Correa at shortstop. I liked his overall statistics. His, he's not too fast and he's not too good against lefties, but overall, he's really good he's especially defensively left field we have Chris Davis and Nori Aoki went on waivers I remember one of my very loyal subscribers said Chris Davis is a good option so I'm gonna give him another chance we didn't have anybody in left field to begin so he's better than what we had and Nori Aoki I like him but having him in triple A wouldn't be too bad we have Cameron Mabin as our starting short center fielder and Jake Marisnik went down to AAA. George Springer and Josh Reddick are our still starting right fielders with Jose Ibar still at with at right field. I believe we picked him up. Anyway guys, that should be an interesting season. We only have four starting or four outfielders, but we have plenty of solid infielders. And a lot of solid pitching, I would say. My prediction for the season, I know I don't usually do this, is 1-1-61. One, 101-61. One, and 61. One, one, 61. But um, I'm probably not going to do the normal trade thing I usually do. This roster does look pretty damn good. So the only re reason I would do trades is if someone actually gets like seriously injured. Ah, Justin Verland Verlander. Fractured wrist for three to four weeks. Huh. I'll do this live if I can. Let's see if we can get a trade just to replace Verlander here. Actually, I could put that guy in. Hmm. Let's see if I can get someone good first. Do they want to give a shooting gray? Dennis Salazar. I want to get someone I don't usually get if I can. I haven't gotten Geo in a long time. Minute roster right here that puts us at five starting pitchers. Sadly, Colin McHugh is probably going to suffer when Verlander comes back. But, you know, we need a replacement. Okay, let's keep going. We are 34 and 17. That seems pretty good to me. I'm going to simulate that because we're only doing one year. We don't, we don't worry about the draft here. Verlander's about to come back. So maybe. Three, five, six, three, one, three, five, four, oh. Uh, 
Okay. Improve our bullpen a little bit. And it looks like... With Verlander coming back, it shouldn't be too much of a loss trading McHugh. But... He's probably going to be put on waivers anyway if I kept him. As sad as that is. I don't want to jinx us. I'm not looking at the standings yet. No, I don't want to stop simulating. We have an offer. Lance McCullers for Matt Andrasi and Corey Dickerson. Ah. Technically, that's not a bad offer. Especially if you look at our left field right now, Chris Davis. They're not struggling at all, so I can't make that trade in good faith. Seventy wins, I like it. No, thank you. Look at this win streak. Ninety and forty one. We're so close to my goal. Oh, we crushed our goal. Holy shit. A hundred and ten wins and fifty two. We won the division and we would be taking on the wild card winner. Yes, we would like to stop simulating. We crushed it that last month. That's good. Jose Altuve drives in 100th run of the season. That's pretty good. Nobody's majorly injured, so that's a win win. It looks like McCullers is struggling lately, but that's fine. What, uh. Move Keiko up in the rotation. Checking out the team. We have the league leader in triples with 17 in doubles. And run scored. Jose Altuve. Look at our acquisitions. Carlos Correa. Travis Shaw. 298. That's pretty interesting because I didn't think he'd get 530 at bats. I'm starting to wonder if our other third baseman did kind of poorly. Doubles, we have Jose Altuve third. Cameron Maben and George Springer. Some homegrown talent, 14th and 15th. We have Carlos Correa, basically 20th. Triples, Jose Altuve, Carlos Correa and Maben up there. Home runs, Correa, Springer. Shaw, Marwin Gonzalez, Jose Altuve, they're all up there. Evan Gaddis had 27. Now, this is curious for me. I checked his stats almost halfway through the season, and he had 20, too. Either he went on a cold slump and just stopped hitting, or he got... No, he got injured. He had to get injured. He only played in 110 games. So that's pretty good production for 110 games. RBIs, usual suspects up there. Travis Shaw having a solidly good season. Played in 141 games. We'll have to check our depth chart real quick. Because he might be the starting third baseman now. He is not the starter third baseman, but Bregman only had 90 hits and 302 at-bats. He only played 94 games. I'm thinking maybe he got hurt. That would make a lot of sense. One stat I will check before the end of the thing. We got gold glove for right field. Not bad. One stat I will check before the end is um strikeouts. Yeah, McCullers, Archer, and Keichel are up there. Ah. Uh, got some good pitchers over here. Colin McHugh did decent for the Red Sox. Good for him. Good for him. I don't know why I'm switching between leagues. I hit the wrong button. ERA. Damn, we're not even up there. Oh, switch between leagues again. Saves. Ken Giles, 37. We even had Will Harris and Verlander. Verlander got two saves. That's interesting right there. Hmm. Maybe we worked him back in the pen. 
God damn it, wrong league again. OPS, slugs, stolen bases. Jose Altuve, Cameron Mabin. Come on, buddy. D Gordon, there he is. That's what I traded him for. He had an even war. He hit 252, but he had 20, 18 stolen bases and one home run all year. He only had 111 at bats. But still, to have not that many hits, but 18 stolen bases, I definitely feel like he was a pinch runner just like I wanted him to be. And Travis Shaw did, was out for a few days. A couple pitchers went out for a few days, so did them. One or two weeks for Archer, so that's pretty good. Let's see who we face in the postseason. We're facing the Seattle Mariners. Now, let's see how we stack up against the Mariners. They're for also from our division. According to this, they shouldn't really stack up at all against us. They finished 18 games behind. They don't rank very highly in defense, power, or speed. I'm not saying it's a sweep, but we might lose, or should only lose, one. And we lost the... That's... Wow. We lost the series to the Mariners. A team much worse than our own. Will Harris... Will Harris lost us two games, two close games in this season, this series. Huh. Well, now that's, that's just upsetting. Possibly the best roster overall that we've assembled. One of the best records we've ever had. And still wasn't good enough to win the World Series. And somehow, Mariners were outscored by 12 runs in the postseason. Mm, that, that stings. That stings, guys. So, our acquisitions, never none of them really paid off. But then again, they were all backups. One of them did. But we didn't make it past the first round, really. So, this is a huge failure. So, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.